The European Union has granted the green light to Korea Now's takeover of Asiana Airlines, hammering down regulatory huddles to the creation of the seventh largest carrier worldwide. Our Ian Jin has details. The European Union's Competition Authority granted final approval for Korean Air's high-profile acquisition of Asiana Airlines on Thursday. The combined airline will become the world's seventh largest mega carrier in terms of passenger volume. Korea's national flag carrier said that the European Commission concluded its review of the airline, fulfilling all required conditions. In February this year, the European Commission granted conditional approval with two preconditions. One was the operation of a replacement carrier for the four overlapping European routes from Incheon to Barcelona, Frankfurt, Paris and Rome. Korean Air has designated T-Way Air as the replacement carrier. And the second condition was the sale of Asiana's cargo business, for which a legally binding agreement has been sealed with Air Incheon. Korean Air has now gained permission from 13 out of 14 countries, with a review by the United States pending. The EU's approval has been submitted to the U.S. authorities, and the Department of Justice is expected to conclude its review of the deal by the end of December, which is assumed to be a green light as the DOJ normally contemplates legal action only if there is concern of a merger's potential monopoly. It has taken four years since the deal was first initiated in November of 2020. However, there are pending concerns from the merger that need to be resolved. Although Korean Air had earlier pledged to not implement any forced job cuts during the acquisition, industry officials and employees remain skeptical as there will be redundancy in duties performed by personnel of both airlines. For passengers, there remains a dilemma over how to merge the mileage points from both carriers. Korean Air's points are generally valued higher in the market, which means it is unlikely that the mileage points will be converted at a one-to-one -one ratio. Korean Air will keep Asiana as a subsidiary for two years before fully subsuming the carrier. The successfully merged mega carrier is expected to have a workforce of 30,000 and around 230 aircraft. Yoon Jin, Arirang News.